strawberries. I adore them. I love them just the way they are, sliced in my cereal for breakfast, in sweet desserts after dinner, and in all sorts of savory summer salads. Join me today while I make my 18-minute flank steak, strawberry, and pecan salad with strawberry balsamic vinaigrette. To make the strawberry vinaigrette, I'm going to start with 10 ounces of fresh strawberries that I've just cut into quarters. Add them to the work bowl of my food processor. I'm going to put a lid on this. And after I puree these, I'm going to add a mixture of a quarter cup of honey, a quarter cup of strawberry preserves, and a half cup of white balsamic vinegar. I'm going to pulse these for about 15 to 20 seconds. Now with the motor running, through the feed tube, I'm going to add this white balsamic mixture. In a nice thin stream. And the strawberry preserves is a really good um, replacement for white sugar in this recipe. And now with the motor still running, I'm going to add six tablespoons of regular vegetable oil just to emulsify this dressing just a little bit. And that's it, the dressing is made. I'm gonna transfer that to this measuring container, pop it in the refrigerator, and it's time to broil my steak. My formula for buying and cooking a flank steak is always buy a flank steak that's two to two and a half pounds and only cook it for nine minutes per side under a broiler. It's as simple as that. It'll come out medium rare, tender and juicy every time. I'm going to just salt and pepper the top of this. I'm not even going to bother to put salt and pepper on the other side. That's just going to give, make it too salty. And for the record, my steak today is not marinated. If you want to use a marinated steak, you can. But in the food world, marinades are flavorizers, not tenderizers, and they won't affect your cooking time. My flank steak's out from underneath that broiler and I've left it rest for another nine to 10 minutes just to allow all the juices to redistribute themselves. What I like to do with flank steak is start by cutting it lengthwise with the grain first to reveal its perfectly cooked center. And now with flank steak, you always cut the strips across the grain and you hold your knife at a 30 degree angle to get really nice, tender, as thin as you can cut them. It's pretty strips. Beautiful. Doesn't that meat look juicy, tender, perfect medium rare? Absolutely perfect. I'm going to stop here. I'm going to take a break. And what I like to do with the entire steak when I'm putting it into a salad is I roll, the French call it roulades, I make, I, I roll up every piece of steak because it makes for a really pretty presentation and it's user friendly in your salad because you can put a fork in it. So I'm going to continue slicing this whole steak and when we come back we're going to assemble the salad. Flank steak is all sliced and made into roulades. And one flank steak, one two to two and a half pound flank steak is gonna make enough for four to six really big main dish salads. In this bowl, I've got some chiffonade of romaine and some arugula leaves. And I love arugula for its little peppery flavor. And I'm just gonna to toss these two greens together. 
see they're chilled, they're really crisp. You can even hear that they're crisp and they're real dry. Now I'm just gonna make a nice big bed of lettuce and I'm using two salad plates. I love to serve this salad on a plate because it's really a knife and fork salad. Oh, I can smell that arugula. It smells wonderful. I'm going to put a little condiment cup in the corner because I don't like to drizzle dressing on everyone's portion. They can put on their own salad, each on their own salad, what they want. Next, red onions, shaved really thin. A nice portion of those. Now it's time for our strawberries. And I bought a lot because I'm gonna use these over the next day or so in my breakfast cereal. <laughs> and I'm going to, I've sliced them each one about a quarter, I've taken the green tops off, sliced them about a quarter of an inch thick. Strawberries surprisingly hold up really well with beef. They also grow, grow great with chicken and shellfish. And I like to use them in the summertime in place of tomatoes when I have a sweet dressing to make. Beef roulades. Put those. It's moist, juicy. Okay for the steak. On to the blue cheese. Nice big crumbles. Again, knife and fork salad. People can cut this up and break it into their salad on their own. And last but not least, some, I'm using candied pecans for their sweet crunchiness. You can just use regular lightly toasted nuts if you like. I'm going to wash my hands and it's time to sit down to lunch. As a card carrying carnivore, I adore a piece of rare beef. That said, if you're looking for a twist to this carnivorous salad, Swap out the beef with some roasted chicken and replace that blue cheese with some brie. For these and all of my recipes, just go to my website.